Well, one of the things that you know we've had an issue with is that we had a number of different data systems that didn't talk to each other. Um, so lots of information being uh, coming from different, different sources without the integration we're looking for. So it was hard to make decisions because some of the legacy systems had in, uh, biographical, biographical information, some had achievement data, some had state uh, data, some were locally developed by schools, etc. So this warehouse actually is bringing together all of that into one platform, one place, where you can begin to really create the kinds of intersections you're looking for. So if you have a question that involves pulling biographical, uh, qualitative, quantitative, state data, you can actually come up with a solution and an answer to a question where the system can actually mine and find what you're looking for. It creates the kinds of perhaps intersections we're looking for to give you a picture of a particular situation. So it's one-stop shopping, one way of, of, of creating this kind of a system where, where again, the connections, uh, the interconnectedness that you're looking for exists in one place versus having to have logons and passwords in six, seven different systems to respond to a particular question or issue you're having around student information. Okay. So Fundamentally, you want the system to be able to change teacher behavior. Right? So when you look at when people are teaching and they need to adjust, if you go back to the whole, to the whole adage of you teach, you assess, you adjust. And how do you adjust? You adjust based on good information. So we have our principals and perhaps our teachers being inundated with lots of information. You heard the, the expression drip, you know, data rich, information poor, where they have access to a lot of different systems but not be able to use them to inform their work on, on a regular basis. So this provides them the kinds of timely or on-time uh, information they need to make decisions about what needs to happen perhaps tomorrow. Uh, so this is critically important to schools and will be for our uh, area chiefs, for our school chiefs, as they put their inquiry teams in place with the race to the top money that we're getting from New York State and from the federal government to make decisions about how you assess and adjust on a regular basis. In other words, how does the data inform the practice of a school, not yearly, but daily? When, when you look at uh, the fact that we are a public entity, we have to respect and respond to the community that funds us as a school system. One thing that we've had perhaps as a reputation is that we've been a bit insular. In some ways, not because we've tried to be insular, but when, when you look at the way we provide information to the public, very often it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, to the average person. They get state data. I mean, in New York, we have, what, 24 different ways of being labeled a failing school. So all this comes to the public, these snippets, and people have a hard time making sense of it. So what this will do, I think, for the community is be able to present these dashboards an easy way of, 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 of gauging our progress uh, um, by pulling all these different systems from the state, from the federal government, internally, way of presenting stuff to the public that makes sense to the layperson without using the jargons, without uh, perhaps showing uh, that maybe we're smarter than the average person, but really to show the community that we are responding to the questions that they have, the progress that we are making, um, um, because their tax dollars are being used to fund what we do every single day. So we have, we owe it to our community to present to them uh, the data in a fashion that makes sense. But what's more important for me though, is for a parent to be able to drill down from looking at the, 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 the macro level to the micro level and be able to see and track this, the, the child's progress over time. So imagine the power behind being able to see how your child did in kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade, from, from attendance to literacy, and track the progress, whether it's qualitative or quantitative, over time. So a parent really having real-time access to the child's information so they can advocate appropriately and support uh, the teacher in the classroom to making sure the child uh, is being successful. We will not be able to tell if we're successful unless our kids are doing well beyond high school. Right now, we track only K-12 or perhaps 312. But we know that we are graduating students out of high school who are not prepared for what comes after high school. We know that many of our students go on to college and are not successful. Uh, the data, unfortunately, right now is anecdotal. So, but having a system that can track students two years beyond high school, even perhaps interfacing with the National Student Data Clearinghouse, so to know what the persistence is of our, of our children when they leave us, that really is a measure of success, how well they are doing 
beyond the walls of our schools after they leave us. If we build that kind, that kind of capacity and they can sustain their, their, their achievement and their success two years beyond the, the secondary school level, then we know we're doing a good job.